Hey guys, I'm experimenting with the my old Bedini motor. Uh, this battery is running the device. This battery is being charged. I have the voltmeter on this battery, and I'll show you clearly. Let's see if I can turn that a little without knocking loose the wire. When I stop the oops, looking at the wrong thing. When I stop the motor from running. It's hard for me to get in there. Um, there we go. When I stop the motor from running, you'll see the clear drop in voltage. All right, it is taking a charge. When I stop the motor from running, the voltage drops. I give it a good spin, then the voltage comes back up. Okay. Now, the current being drawn is next to nothing right now to run this device. And at the same time, I've got four LED lamps on. These are 12 volt LED lamps and two incandescent lights, all in parallel. The power from the Bedini motor has to come out, go through the the uh, all the lights, and then comes out the other side to the battery being charged. So the energy has to go through the lights before it gets to the battery. That's all connected. Um, I can remove all but one. And to make it simple, the energy comes, passes through a light bulb and out into the battery. But it has to pass through a bulb first. Uh, I started adding LED lights just for fun to see what would happen. And yes, it is a strobe effect. What you're seeing is, because it's an LED and not an incandescent, the LED light will show the flicker from each pulse of the magnet uh, passing a coil. <clears throat> so, and I can adjust, well, now the current is up a little bit, I can adjust the resistance on this and reduce the current being used no, it didn't move. I thought it did. It was my angle looking at it. I can adjust the amount of current being used to some extent by adjusting the uh, resistor on the trigger coil on this. So I'm looking at uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm looking at 100 milliamps, but the needle's off, so it's probably more like 70 milliamps. I haven't adjusted it and zeroed the, the amp meter. So, anyway, just for fun here, I've been taking. LED lights that I had and I'll pull out another one. Let me pause the camera. And the charge on this battery is going up considerably f much much faster than before. Um, oddly I'm getting more charge out into the battery using less current and adding lights. It's very weird. I'm using less current from the battery running the device and getting more charge out. There, I've added another LED light. It doesn't change the intensity of the lights. Nothing changes. The current doesn't change. The charging output changes and increases. It's very weird. Uh, the speed of the motor decreases as I put more drain. But the input is reduced the charge is increased and the speed is reduced. Very interesting. I mean, it's really increasing the charge in that battery. So, as you can see, some I got my meters in the mail. Uh, I got more coming. And uh, when I get the new Benini motor, I'm going to need more. So, I have a friend actually said he's going to send me some. So, thank you, by the way. Um, I hope to start putting meters on inputs and outputs on everything I use from now on. So I'll have a, a meter on the, the battery being charged, a meter on the battery being uh, drawn from, and a current meter showing, an amp meter showing how much current's being drawn. So I can keep on adding lights on this. Anyway, I want to show you for comparison. I gotta set down the camera, but I'm gonna disconnect. I gotta, well, I don't have to sit down. I'll stop the motor. All right, everything is off. No current draw. And you can see here for comparison, I'm not exactly zeroed. All right, just so you know. All right, now the power on the battery will slowly start to go back down. 
as it settles into its resting voltage. All right, but it is gaining in charge. All right, that needle slowly, slowly going down. All right, I can actually see it. It's just perceptibly going down as it settles. Okay, now I'm going to take the wire and bypass the LED lights entirely. Okay, so it's directly to the battery being charged. And then spin up the bedini and see what happens. Um, change resistance. Okay, we've got. It starts out slower. The motor isn't isn't turning as is. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, what am I trying to say? It gets up to run speed faster when using all the other lights and stuff on there. My current. That is about the same as it was before. And my charging is a little bit reduced. Can you see that? So, nothing too exciting there. Alright. Now take note of where that charge, uh, where the voltage is right now. Take note of that. We are at... Oops, sorry, lost focus. Come on. Um... Uh, Middle is 12 and a half, so 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, just under but 11.7 volts right now. 11.7 volts. I just shut down the motor, and the voltage will drop. Slowly, it'll settle down. And a half, 11, dropping down to 11. You can see it slowly. All right, it's settling down to its resting voltage, wherever that may be. Okay, but you can see it's dropping. So there was definitely charge on the battery at the time okay now I'm gonna reconnect all the LEDs okay and then remember where that voltage was and the current is probably gonna stay the same now we have lights galore and immediately our voltage jumps up to almost 12 and a half it's much more charge coming into that by adding more more drain and draw in the system, I've got I'm not using any more current than I was. If anything, no, it's nothing. It's not no more. I have to get a, a finer amp meter for this. Uh, this is a zero to five. I think I'm going to get a zero to one amp meter for uh, situations like this. I thought that that would peg out on occasion. I didn't want to risk blowing a little amp meter. But look at our charge. Boy, this camera is giving me trouble. Look at our charge now, going up to 12 and a half. It's impressive on the Bedini. Now, I've never done experiments like this in all the years. I haven't had a proper lab to play with. Um, I gotta adjust. I can turn down the, um, turn up my resistor, turning down the power draw. And it speeds up the motor. Oh, there we go. Now we got a different star. See, I dim that light. You just want that to barely flicker. Which then reduces your current being drawn by a little bit. Once you get a... See, it's down. It's, it's dropped. The current drawn is going down. Okay. And the charging voltage is going up. Very interesting. And I have light. Actually, oh wow. It's not flickering as much. Now the camera is showing it flickering, but it's not flickering as bad. As the motor speeds up, the flickering is is reduced. Interesting. Oh, weird. Very interesting. I'm going to add a few more lights on there just for fun and see what, what happens. Hmm. Curious thing. So I have free light, higher charging voltage, reduced current input. How cool is that? Now that is, that guys, I don't think you can explain by conventional means, okay? You're seeing it with your own eyes. Reduced current. It actually looks like it's gone down even more. As the motor speeds up, and as I adjust that resistor, the current draw is going to be reduced more and more, okay? 
and the charging voltage is going up. So the output current, the charging current is being increased. You can see it, there's a big difference from without the lights compared to with lights. And you're seeing it with your own eyes, what I'm doing. And we have free light as an output. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna add a couple more lights and we'll be back in a minute here. Okay guys, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LEDs lighting up, two little incandescents in there, plus charging the battery at a higher charge, and the current is reduced or the same. I think it's slightly reduced. It's not much. I really need a higher resolution amp meter for that, but it is reducing bit by bit with each addition of an LED light it is reducing that current somewhat for me I can see the difference not much and definitely increasing the charge and you can see again as I showed you if I remove all the lights the charging drops very clearly you can see the charging drops and the current will go back up so I'm gonna see if I can scratch up some more lights and and see how much more I can get out of this at the same time without pulling any more current out of the battery running the device. Okay guys, I have 19 LED lights on. No, they're not burning bright. And there is a little bit of a flicker. But if I can get that motor speed up so that would change. The current is not increased. And the charging voltage remains higher. That is a lot of extra energy for nothing. And the lights are cold. They remain cold to touch. So, all kinds of light for free. And I don't know how to measure the current going into them. I'd have to take, I don't know how I'd do it. Anybody have any advice or a suggestion how you would measure? how much power is being used right there on 19 LED lamps. I'm going to shut the door to the office and have pitch black in here and uh, come back with a camera and see how bright, how bright it makes it in here. See if it makes a difference. Well guys, I'm sorry it wreaks havoc on the um, camera display. Oh there, I can if I can indirectly show you, it's not as bad, right? Um, there's some light being given off by them. That's the only light in here right now. I have the door shut. So, I mean, it's not bright. It's not enough to light your house. But, it's interesting to see that I'm getting all this light on my table here, on my workspace, for free from those LEDs. Um, without increasing the current being drawn from the battery, but actually increased the charge on a battery being charged. Very curious, guys. Very interesting. I'm going to do some experiments with the Quanti Q3 generator later as well and see if um, I can do any weird odd stuff with that. But for now, I'm out of ideas and uh, things to add on that. I, I want to do some experiments with some car light bulbs, some incandescent light bulbs, and see what I can get going with them but I don't have any sockets at this time so I'm probably gonna have to order some and uh, see what kind of effects I can get using incandescent lights because I've heard of uh, great results with incandescent lights and especially with fluorescent lights I don't have any fluorescence um, I'm gonna have to dig around and see if there was any compact fluorescence anywhere in the house but I don't think there was but I know people have great effects with fluorescent lighting and the Bedini motor. Anyway, if I think of something else or find something else interesting, I'll come back to you. There you go. Free light while charging a battery and reduced input current.